Alrighty, this video is going to be about um, making a YouTube banner. Um, and the example I'm going to use is this one. And this is one I made this morning. It didn't take very long, but uh, one pug life, he, he made a video um, asking for some help. Uh, getting a banner together for his channel, so I thought I'd put this together and if you know if he likes it He can use it if he doesn't then that's okay, too, and I'll just you know Maybe I could put something else together. He could send me some stuff or whatever and or pictures and whatever and, and I could put something together, but but anyway, we'll get started with it and I'll show you how I how I made it so I just went to a website and I made a blank banner with the color I wanted and then downloaded it just to make it just to make it easier so I <clears throat> I have this uh, blank background and it's uh, 150 high by 960 long and that's that's the default, I guess, for uh, a YouTube channel banner. So, um, on this program called Photoscape, what you have to do when you have your blank background and you want to insert something, you go to Object, and if you want to insert text, you click on the text uh, icon. If you want to insert uh, like a speech balloon, which I don't want to, but if you wanted to, you click on that. But I want to insert a photo, so right here is the photo and other objects uh, uh, tab, so click on that. Right at the very top is, uh, is photo, so you click that. You choose the photo you want to insert, and I want to insert one of these uh, Pug Army uh, pictures. So I take that, just click OK, unless you want to um, make that kind of the opacity a little bit different or whatever. So I want two of these. So up here in the corner, there's a little plus sign. You can delete it with the X and you can add another one exactly the same with that. But I don't want to do that yet. I want to make this the size that I want it first. So I just drag in the corner and just get this to pretty much to the size that I need it. Put it where I want it. And make sure that it's not overhanging on the, on the banner any. And it is, so I'll just drag it down a bit. And just keep screwing with it until you get it pretty much where you need it. That looks pretty good, so now I'll go over here, add a number, and just drag it over and place it where I want to place it. And just make sure it doesn't overhang any. So there's that. Now I want another picture, so I'm going to go in click photo again and I want this one so put that in click OK again drag it again to the size you need that's pretty good and since this one's black it's not going to matter a whole lot if it if it's not exactly the right like exactly the full length and I kind of like it that way because you're not taking any chances on going over the border so click it again put your other one over here so there's that now I want, uh, let's see I want some text and 
I already did this so it automatically will show up so that's fine so I'll put that to here at the bottom and I want some more text so get rid of that and leave. and obviously I need that a little bigger so I'll, I think I went with 48 last time. No, I guess I must have. Oh, actually, I went with 90. But I don't want the colors like that. I want this to be yellow. And I want this to be green. So the opposite of the other one. So there's that. object or picture so go to there and now I want the Facebook actually I did that the wrong way around so I'll take that out of there and get rid of that now I want I want the Facebook so there's Facebook and click OK and get down to the size you want. And I can figure around with it later. So let's. Now I want the Twitter one. I want that. Ooh, that's pretty good. So there's that. Now I want the text. So what it looks like. Facebook around. And there we go. It's not exactly the same as the other one, but it's close. And then you just move your stuff around until it's where you like it. And there it is. And then once you do this, you get your uh, image the way you want it, then you can uh, go to a different website to uh, get your links and stuff clickable. So actually, I'll cancel that for now. So I want the Twitter. I want Twitter to be clickable, I want Facebook to be clickable, and I want this link to his, uh, his uh, Redneck Lawn Chair website, I want that to be clickable, and I also made these clickable, so, but they go, just go to the website, so you can order the stickers, so this one and these two go to the same place, but anyway. So I'll get rid of this, and I don't want to save it because I already have it saved. So now you have to go to this uh, website, and uh, I'll put a link to, to this website in the description. And you click on uh, Browse, so you can find your uh, banner that you just made. So now I click on this image because that's the one I just made. And then down here you click map image. And now it's going to generate a HTML code. So so now all you have to do is um, put a on the button that you want to put a link on, and then you put your link in there, and then you save your link, and. Then
and then you do that for every button that you want clickable or anything if there's a picture that you want clickable or this kind of link just the written out link or whatever drag it and over top of the link or if you want it on a picture drag it onto the picture and just keep saving it so once you're done saving it you uh, click on get code and then at the top it, it says HTML code so you click that and then highlight off the whole code and copy it and then you take it and you paste it into where it says uh, the banner code on your YouTube channel and uh, that's pretty much it you, you gotta save the changes actually you have to upload your image first the one that we made in uh, Photoscape and then paste in your code and then go to save changes and, and everything should be ready to go.